Hey, what's up, YouTube? <clears throat> hey, um, anybody that has an Elgato uh, Turbo 264, I found a little workaround to get it to work with um, Final Cut Pro 10. Let me bring Final Cut Pro up here. Uh, just for information, I edited a short film and uh, output it using the share for Apple TV um, right from Final Cut Pro. It took a full nine minutes um, to render an output for Apple TV um, in, with inside the program. Uh, nine minutes versus only about two and a half minutes using Elgato, uh, same quality, Apple TV. Uh, but what I did there is I go up to um, share and hold on a minute here. For some reason, I'm hanging up. I think my mouse battery is dying. Uh, go to export movie. Just leave it at current settings. Export it to your desktop. And then import that file back into um, Elgato. And save it to Apple TV or any other uh, preset that it has much quicker. It took about a minute and a half to save this uh, 147 second clip. It took about a minute and a half to do that to um, on the export settings with the uh, current settings and uh, then after that took it into Elgato and it just took another minute and a half or maybe it was a minute uh, to output the whole thing to Apple TV versus in full nine minutes um, using the share function to Apple TV. Okay, so after you do that, you're going to have a large file on your desktop, even for um, 147 seconds, came out to uh, 1.36 gigabytes. Um, but don't fret, you can always delete that file. <clears throat> Just bring that into Elgato and you'll, it will reduce it down to about 99 megs. So anyway, um, give us a try. It's really good. And uh, See you all later. Peace out.